Hello everyone, welcome to Knife Delights. I want to continue on with uh, reviewing my brother's Boy Scout knife collection. There's been a little bit of a gap here. I need to get this collection finished up because one of these days Big Brother's going to be demanding uh, to have these knives back. Yeah, he's, he's kind of that way. But anyway, we're going to continue here with the Ulster Knife Company. Uh, Ulster made BSA knives under two different ownerships. And the first uh, appearance of an Ulster BSA knife was in 1923. Those knives had a, uh, a shield-shaped uh, BSA shield on the handle. And that era of Ulster knives ended in 1940. The second era of Ulster knives began in 1963 and ended in 1985. All of those later knives, known as Ulster USA, had a round shield on the handle. And that's what we have here today is the second generation. And these are your standard BSA pattern 1996 uh, camp knives. And I believe that this is the Ulster ULSC4G pattern. So these, all three of these are the same. One difference is this happens to be mine. I must have bought this sometime in the early 70s or so. So this is mine. And I don't worry about, you know, getting them mixed up with the other knives because it has something very distinguishing here. My little uh, leather awl punch. It's bent. When you put it down, you see there it doesn't go in all the way. i got to push it down over to get it to fall down in there. So, I know this is my knife. I was probably doing something really silly, stabbing something with that that punch or something. Who knows, but it got bent. So these knives all have jigged Delrin uh, covers on them, although the color in them is slightly different. And they each have the four blades of a standard camp knife. Got that uh, very distinguishable spear point. And then you have a can opener, of course. Got to open your cans of beans. Got to focus a little better there. And then we have the cap lifter with the screwdriver end to it. And then the awl or punch, whichever you want to call it there. You notice here... On the reverse side, in order to access that uh, awl that you have, that is called a nail relief or notch hollow. So it's notched out there for easier access to that blade. And before I forget, I should probably show you the tang stamp here. Just simply says Ulster USA. Now these knives had brass liners and a clevis. Three pins, one, two, and three. And smooth nickel silver bolsters. And the inlay here, or the shield, is a round shield with a tenderfoot emblem. And remember the earlier Ulsters had a the shield shape shield. So now as far as dating, as I said, I think I bought this one in the in the early to mid 70s. I'm thinking probably around 71 or 72. I held on to it all these years and I'm glad I did. It has some pretty nice patina on it. Yep. A lot of fond memories with this blade. Now, this one here, as you can see, it is a brown uh, Delrin jig also, but you see how it's kind of whitish on the ends. So this one here is believed to be Probably the later latest model probably made the last two years 
all like an 84 and 85 and checking on some of the knife forms they believe that this was probably the last model you know the last uh, style that uh, they made in 84 and 85 and they think it was made by Camillus and that's because Camillus and Ulster were owned by the same person and if you take a look at a Camillus Boy Scout knife look at how similar they are with the jigging and the coloring so this is this is a, the Camillus still in pretty good shape there still has the blade etching on it and then we do have this one with the white covers again it's still jig Delrin but it has white covers and we believe that these were probably made between 1980 and 1984 so, but other than that, other than the covers, the color of the covers, they're still the same knife. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this little short review. Um, I have created a playlist of the Boy Scout knives that I have reviewed, so please feel free to check it out. And hey, have a very delightful day.